I recently reviewed a fully loomed dial version of the Wise Hitman. And in that video, I was explaining to you how this brand produces premium watches. But that watch, albeit beautifully made, was perhaps not the best watch to demonstrate that. Well, that's going to change in this video because they've just sent me their latest release. It is the Adamascus 88. And this thing feels like a proper premium watch. I mean, just look at the size of the packaging as well. If that doesn't tell you this is a premium watch by a premium brand, hopefully the rest of this video will. Enjoy. Now, before I show you the watch, I just want to show you the packaging because I think it's worth seeing. I'm not normally one for over the top fancy packaging, but I do appreciate it sometimes when I'm reviewing slightly more expensive watches, especially from micro brands like this. So, um, yeah, it is very impressive packaging. The watch isn't overly expensive. Actually, I think it's pretty good value for money. I'll keep it the prices in a moment um but yeah nice packaging for sure and um while you're seeing the packaging you might as well hit that subscribe button hit the bell notifications icon as well and you'll catch all my future uploads thank you so much guys that does a solid for me and the channel right now let me show you this watch and here it is, the Adamascus AD8. Now, this watch has been around for a little while, but they have just released um, some newer versions um, with newer dials. And I think they're also launching um, some newer versions of this watch on stainless steel bracelets. So look out for those. But yeah, this is one of the newest releases from Wise. Beautiful fading dial and lovely pattern on it as well. It looks almost like a sort of computer generated and um, sort of pixelated picture of an ocean um but yeah it's just a cool dial and um, that hour hand slightly vintage sort of retro look to it isn't there in fact the whole watch has a slightly sort of vintage look to it um the case shape perhaps um gorgeous watch gorgeous watch right 904l stainless steel that's one of the big talking points when it comes to this watch why 904l stainless steel well it's more corrosion resistant than 316l stainless steel that is what most people focus on obviously rolex have been using 904l steel in their watches since 2003 i think it's much more expensive, much more expensive, much harder to work with. So there are downsides, well, more so for the brand than you guys, to this steel. And the upside to 904L stainless steel, um, other than its extra resistance to corrosion, is when you polish it, it just looks a little bit brighter. Um, yeah, polished 904L steel looks incredible. If it's done well enough, that is. And um, I can tell you the polishing on this watch is pretty impressive and it's a brighter sort of whiter steel than 316 so i think some people just prefer the color now i don't think the benefits to 904l steel are going to be that important to most people but it's a pretty strong indication that wise are intent on making um, sort of upmarket premium micro brand watches so yeah if you're interested it might matter to you if you're not it might not and they've even used 904l steel um, for the buckles on both straps as well um, so this isn't a brand that cuts corners I think their overall use of materials with this watch is impressive. It's not just the fact that they've used 904L steel in the case and the buckles. The bezel insert is zirconia ceramic, which is a specific type of ceramic material. And again, it polishes to a very bright luster. You've got a sapphire sandwich, beautiful piece of boxed sapphire crystal in the front of the watch and um, double domed look so decent clarity at a tight angle ar coating and then you've also got some sapphire crystal in the case back a beautiful oiled leather strap and the second strap is fkm rubber which is my favorite material for rubber straps so yeah decent materials throughout now i don't think i'm doing this watch justice by spending too long talking about the materials because just look at it it is gorgeous it's one of the prettiest dive watches i've ever seen it almost doesn't look like a dive watch which is a compliment um, we see lots of chunky sort of angular dive watches these days um, rarely do we come across beautiful elegant dive watches like this and it really is um fairly light um slim 
elegant looking, fully polished look. The corners on the case aren't particularly crisp, but I don't mind that because I think if those corners were particularly sharp and angular, the watch wouldn't look as soft and as gentle and as elegant as it does. Yeah, I think it's incredible. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Now we're quite a way into this review and I haven't had a fiddle with the bezel and I can tell you the bezel action, um, very much like the rest of the watch, is seriously impressive. It is one of the best bezel actions I have ever experienced. Yeah, the resistance is really quite high, um, but that just makes it feel, yeah, quality. Um, there is plenty of grip. The alignment's also really, really good. I'm sure you can hear those clicks. Um, the microphone's quite a distance away from the watch and it usually doesn't pick up the clicks when I hold the watch here. But um, yeah, as you can see, just um, sort of rolls back a little bit. Um, but when it does, um, it lines up perfectly. Look, let me um, bring it closer to the mic. Right, I've zoomed in so we can have a closer look at the case, the bezel, the dial, the hands, the applied indices. Um, yeah, hopefully now you can see just how beautifully well um, this watch has been finished and just how bright and reflective and crisp everything looks. Fully polished case. I'll um, take some macro shots. I'm probably showing them to you already. I'll take some macro shots of the dial. Well, everything. I like to take lots of macro shots, as you know. And um, yeah, just gives us that ability to look at the quality of the finishing in more detail, basically. I've no doubt it's gonna hold up particularly well under the macro lens. The hands in the applied indices look to be beautifully bright. Um, the applied indexes have a sort of dual facet element to them. Um, they sort of slope down, don't they? There's almost two facets to them, a little bit like the hands to some degree. Um, almost sort of angled, which means there's a bit of light play and you've got some light play through that dial as well um, because it's a textured dial, really interestingly textured dial. Um, date window at the six o'clock look, so decent balance to this dial. Um, the print on the bezel insert looks to be very, very crisp and the polishing on the case and that bezel insert really, really bright and reflective. Yeah, they've done an incredible job. Right, I'm just going to show you the loom now. I will also film a five minute loom degradation clip, which I like to show at the end of my videos. Five minutes isn't long, but it gives us some indication as to how good loom is on watches and which bits are going to last and which bits aren't. But yeah, it's nice also just to have a look at the loom and perhaps pass comment on it and um, yeah it looks all right doesn't it fully loomed bezel insert it doesn't look like it's going to last as well as the applied indices in the hands which looks to be particularly bright so yeah plenty of loom decent right i've got a couple of straps to show you with this watch the first one is the oiled leather strap really soft and supple it's quite a thick strap so i suspect it's going to last a little bit of a decorative sort of stitch to it close to the case look beautifully finished buckle plenty of length on these straps i don't normally think leather straps go well with dive watches but Although it's a sort of dive watch, dive style watch, it's a 200 meter diver, it's just so classy and almost looks like a dressy dive watch. I mean, you could wear this every day, of course you could, but I mean, just look how low that sits on my wrist. That is the beauty of the 9000 series automatic movement and they really made the most of it, I've got to say. Um, so yeah, it's a fantastic um, everyday watch, really, if you want it to be, and um, it goes really, really well with this leather strap. This is definitely the strap I would wear this watch with every day if this is the watch I was going to wear. But let me show you the FKM strap. Here it is then on the additional FKM rubber strap. It works. I just don't think it sort of suits the watch quite as well as the leather strap because of the style of watch that it is. Yeah, rubber straps tend to be a little bit more sort of sporty. FKM is a really weird material. FKM straps always feel really heavy and dense, but yet they have this ability to be soft and supple. They don't attract lint, which is one of the reasons why I like FKM straps. And like I said, it sort of goes with the watch, but yeah, I don't think it does the watch justice quite like the leather strap does. So um, yeah, definitely for me, the leather strap.
I think when you look at the overall bundle, the packaging, the watch, the materials, the build quality, this brand has been around since 2008. So they are a well-established micro brand in Thailand. The movement as well, the additional straps. And when you put all that together, I think 599 US dollars less the $35 if that coupon or that voucher discount code is still working. I think it represents good value for money, actually very good value for money. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen a dive watch that's impressed me as much as this one has. Strong tingles with this one. Um, yeah, it's a gorgeous watch, absolutely gorgeous. So I think Wise is a micro brand that more and more people need to know about, need to consider and accept um, is a premium micro brand for sure. They've impressed me. Um, this is the third or fourth watch of theirs that I've seen now. And um, yeah, every time I see one, I just like the brand more and more. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I think I've said enough. Um, you know how I feel about this watch. Incredible. Right. Let me know um, if you have any questions and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cheers, guys.